Hey, hey, I was on the wrong page. <laughs> now I'm on the right page. Thanks for tuning in. Let's, uh, let's get this action going. Tag friends. There we go. Boom. That's why I couldn't tag people because they weren't on that page. Boom. Boom. Uh, let's get a couple other people. Um, I didn't have a lot of people ask for tags, so I'm not really going to deal with that. Uh, if you want to tag, oh, well, I can't do anything about it now. Tag a couple people. Richard, Lee, Debbie, Zach, Creighton, uh, Casey, Gregory, Billy Kime, Jonathan Feigen. Oh, he wants to be in here, I hope. Yeah, there we go. I got it figured out, guys. Thanks for bearing with me until I got this figured out. I really, you'd think I'd know something about these things since I've been programming computers since the early 70s, but you would be wrong if you thought that. You would, uh, you would be drastically wrong if you thought that was the case. Where's that, me? You. <laughs> All right, let's get this party started, right? Let's get this party started quickly, right? Oh, maybe I didn't need to tag her. I, I tag some people don't want to be tagged. I apologize. <laughs> uh, untag yourself if you didn't like it. Um, let's do this. Hey, hey. Um, welcome to Tucson. Welcome to my Tucson home uh, COVID home gem show, live show update from Tucson. Let's take a walk around the room. Let's, uh, get me out of here and, uh, we'll see you on the flip side. Um, I'm going to show my friendly helper. Oh, right. may I? May you may. All right. I've got the guest John Warren helping me out today. Uh, he's going to be taking notes and helping me out so I can get things figured out. We'll see if this works better. Yeah, we'll see. I bet it does. I doubt. Two heads are better than one, usually speaking. Yeah, in this case. All right, let's go slowly across the cabinets. If you see something you like, holler at me. Hey, Zach, thanks. Uh, I'm doing great. If you see something you like, holler at me, and we can discuss the pricing. Oh, oh actually, I had a plan. Uh, the plan is that I will accept some offers. I will consider offers, let's say, and I will accept some. So I'm doing... Uh, some things are priced uh, by the cabinet, the 500, the hobbyist corner by the shelf. Some things are I'm willing to consider offers on. Um, as we go one by one, somebody can say, hey, I'm interested in something and I'll see if I've got that something handy to show you easily. Um, I can't always guarantee that I can whip out everything that everybody wants to see. I'm gonna go slowly and show you across the labels. Hey, Jerry, how you doing, buddy? Are you in or coming to Tucson? It'd be great to see you, it's been a long time. Um, I really love this aragonite from Italy. Um, I, you know, they're my rocks, I love them all. That's a huge garnet from Mexico right there. And a really nice halite from Poland. Um, so I'm gonna see if somebody says that they want to Talk about something, see something, if they have a preference. Look, I'm probably only going to go for an hour or two tonight because uh, I'm tired and I'm going to dinner. Uh, <laughs> so um, we're just going to pan over some stuff. Halite is gorgeous. It is indeed. Thank you so much. It's got a custom-made base by Cody from Stone Throne. Um, I can do some zooming easily enough to check it out. Oops, didn't mean to get that one. It's a really, really lovely piece. I have uh, $580 on it. I can show you the size. It's big. It's eight inches. Yeah, eight inches probably. Seven to eight inches tall. Uh, hey, Michelle. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, Ron. Thanks for hooking me up and figuring out what the heck I was doing. Because I never know. Um, oh, that's a really killer garnet from uh, the Ramona, uh, from the little three mine in Ramona, San Diego area, California. Yeah, yeah, it does, Mohini. It does look a lot like fluorite, except um, you can get fluorite wet and you can't get that wet. Um, <laughs> there's a nice fluorite. Um, let's see. Again, I'm just going to show you some things. There's some gold from Morocco. These are really well priced. I mean, I'm not just bragging about myself. Hey, Chelsea, thanks for tuning in. Um, these are, uh, yeah, these are golds from Morocco, crystalline golds from Morocco. They just found them last year. Uh, first time, really, to find these uh, crystalline golds in Morocco. Um, uh, that one's an oriental mine from uh, California. Uh, Jerry, bummer. I understand. Uh, we'll get to catch each other sometime soon. I look forward to it when we do. Um, da -da -da. 
Du, du. Uh, these are Kongsberg wires from Kongsberg, Norway. The silver wires there. Um, this is my metal shelf. I got a whole metal shelf now. It's got uh, some uh, covalite, pyrite. Oh, this silver. Wow. You want to go in on this silver? Watch this thing. Look at those ferns. This is a dendritic silver from Germany. A really old specimen. I, I believe 1800s. I don't know for certain. I have some old labels there we could look at if you were interested to discuss it. It's a really gorgeous piece. Um, and the Stibnite back there from Romania. Wow, look at that. I just, you just get all up in that thing. Um, Zach, go back to work. <laughs> I like that. Uh, yes, indeed, John. So much fun. So many minerals and so many friends. This one is definitely from the 1800s. This Stibnite from uh, Japan. Usually see Stibnite from China. I actually have a couple of Stibnites from Japan because I collected them a little bit. Not out of the ground, obviously, they're from the 1800s. Also, this Stibnite with Metastibnite from uh, Sicily. Oh, no, it's not Sicily. Sorry, it's Tuscany. It's Italy, though. Uh, and here's a Madame Bulgaria Galena. I really I wanted, to get, uh, I wanted to get some fun things going. Uh, on my shelf, they're all organized. And then down here, we have a couple of scoridites from China. Of course, the lovely cabin site and, and uh, uh, still bite. Rhodochrosite from Japan. Um, do, 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 some more rhodochrosite from Colorado. Fluorite from New Hampshire. Uh, these are stibnites from China, your typical stuff. Um, there's a nice uh, cave in rock, Illinois fluorite. All right, I'm just showing stuff. Um, again, there's prices you can see on most things when I pass over them, and you're welcome to make me an offer that, um, and we'll consider it. Otherwise, I'm gonna, I guess, start going to town somewhere. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna pick a couple of things I really wanted to show. This is a once in a very not very often opportunity. I'm offering this piece for sale tonight. I don't even offer it for sale in public. Uh, let's see, can I put something behind it to make it white? I can, just give me a quick second. Ah, there we go, that's what I need. Right there is perfect. Oh, you're looking at my back room. Oh goodness, that's dangerous. That's real dangerous. I don't even know. Look at this mess. Jeez, this is really a mess in my back area. I don't even know how to clean it up. I will clean it up when the show is over. <laughs> All right, now I can... I'm, I'm having a precursor. I'm going to type it in. Okay. I said, wow, Antarctic specimen and world class. Oh, nice. There we go. There we go. It is. It's, it's amazing. There we go. This is a thing. And there are very, very, very few of these. Black fluorite. Well, I got some really, really, really dark purple that you might say black. Um, so anyway, I decided to offer this for sale to you guys here now. And it's not out for the public here in Tucson. This is a smoky quartz from Terra Adelaide, the French region of Antarctica. There was an expedition in 78. There's a write-up in, uh, in the Menrec a couple of years ago. Um, hey, Joshua, thanks for tuning in, man. Been a while. I'll be back up in, uh, in California for June and July. We should definitely get together. I'll be there. So anyway, this was a 78 expedition to Antarctica with the French going on the French section because Antarctica is divided up into all these different country sections. And um, uh, one, of the, one of the guys on the expedition found some quartzes and uh, brought them back to France. And um, they slipped out into the world. Minrak had a write-up on it. About a year ago, or maybe, yeah, about a year ago, almost exactly, I guess. Um, anyway, that's that. I'm asking $1,500 for this piece. I think it's a steal, honestly. Um, I got a good deal on it, so I can offer a good deal back on it. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'll just hang on to it. I'm happy. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, Put something in there for scale. A oh. finger or... Or scale. Because it's, yeah. It's big. Card. Business card is three and a half inches. Yeah. So you can see how big it is. It's not small. 
No, it's not small. It's really nice. It is polished on the bottom, so it stands nicely. It's the only part that's polished, and it stands nicely. And of course, it would come with the uh, uncustom made base. <laughs> non custom made base. All righty. I'm going to set this back in the box. If somebody wants to talk about it, we can always do that. Um, meanwhile, let's look at some rocks over here. Um, I have now Libyan desert glass and tektites from all over the world. I've been a tektite fan for a long time. Um, hey, Ted, thanks for tuning in. I got some meteorites from Morocco, Northwest Africa, unclassified. I mean, it just... This is Tucson. So this is Tucson. Uh, singing quartz. These are so much fun. I really don't like people to make them sing too much. Because it chips them a little bit sometimes when you sing them. But they're really fun. Uh, they're from Diamantina, Brazil. Yes, Joshua. 1,500. on the. Oh, you're telling Jeremy how much. Thanks. And John told him too. So we got it. We know... How much that sucker is. It's a steal, honestly. I If I didn't already own it, I would buy it for that. But I own it, so. <laughs> uh, Chromexite from Turkey. This chromium-rich chalcedony. Again, you have to tell me what you're into. I know some people kind of yell at me about not telling prices. I want somebody to tell me they're interested in something, and then we can talk price. Or we can just go right over here. Well, let's start on the $50 shelf. Every rock on this shelf, each rock on this shelf is $50, no matter the price tag, like the $150 Axonite or the $100 Fluorite. These are all $50. That giant smoky quartz on Feldspar from uh, uh, Malawi. Let me grab another card so I can show you the sizes of things if you want to know. That's why I made these cards so you can tell how big it is. Oh, that's one of those selenites from Australia. I, it's, I found that and put it out on the shelf. Uh, this Los Lamentos Wolfenite. Again, everything on this shelf that I'm showing you right now is $50 each, no matter the price tag on the specimen. There's a really cool smoky quartz with spezzertine garnet from the Fujian province in China. And we got Michelle Sansosti watching, watching, watching. Uh, this Facebook glitch is kind of funny sometimes. Uh, there's a sapphire from Canada, uh, azurite from the type locality in uh, Chessy, France, the fluorite, uh, the wolfenite, absolutely, thanks for asking. There's the scale, there's a simple shot with the scale so you can see how big it is, now I'll pick it up and give you a full spin, Let's get it in the light, go into the light Carol Ann. I'm not 100% sure that's likely memetite with it. Oh, man, I haven't even seen the box I got today. I went and got some of the new uh, wolfenite on fluorite from here in Arizona. I just put it aside because it was a free-for-all in there, and I wanted to make sure I got a box. So I just put it aside. I'll go back and pick it up tomorrow maybe or the next day sometime. It'll be waiting for me. And then I can show you guys at some point. Uh, yep, I'm done with the wolfenite, I believe. Morganite, morganite, morganite. I do not think I have any war morganite at the moment. This is the Tong Bay. There's little garnets there on the feldspar. The quartz is, if you look, it's all uh, healed on the back. It's all crystallized. See that? You can see the, the crystallization. And yes, that was originally $100, and now it's 50 bucks. Fluorite combo for sure. Yeah, I don't have that yet. You got to send me a message and I'll, uh, that'll be a private thing. Um, I'm really excited about it. It's a new find never before described here in, uh, in, in Arizona. Uh, so that's exciting. All right, there's the Tong Bay. Oh, yeah, the, the quartz is there are terminated at the bottom. This is a really neat piece. It like, goes through the feldspar and stays terminated. Uh, let's see. This is a calcite. The back just trolled you. I'm not sure what that means, but okay. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Erythrite. 
uh, demorderite and quartz, uh, irongo fluoride stalactite. Hey, I'm going to ask out loud, is Jonathan Feigen in here? Jonathan Feigen in the house. I got something to show you if you're in the house. Whoops, not my finger. Uh, there's some sulfur from Sicily. I picked that up when I got to uh, Rome a couple of years ago just to a friend's... Uh, you know set up over in D. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to show him live on the thing if he was around. These azurites from Milpias, Mexico are just really, really good azurites um, at 50 bucks a piece. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and put that on the $50 shelf, too. It was, it was on the $50 shelf. Okay, there was that line of demarcation because this changes to the $100 shelf right here with the real mine amethyst and the calcite from Yunnan. It's a really... I really like this calcite from Wenshan, Yunnan province. It's like ice. It's like quartz. It's not. It's definitely calcite. Let's see, I get the light right on it. A little better. I can bring it over into the light here, Carol Ann. Yeah, I quote movies all the time. If you don't know me already, you'll find out. A really cool calcite. So clear. I mean, definitely looks like quartz. It's definitely not. Back right of the $50 shelf. That, oh, that's a, I, that's some I don't know white. <laughs> um, <laughs> I honestly don't know much about this. I got it in a collection I bought one time. It looks like calcite to me. It looks like a calcite formation. Um, really neat kind of. Kind of looks like a dolphin there on the edge. Or some sort of fish. Um, I, I believe it's from China. I don't know for certain. Or wireless. Yeah. So I'll tell you guys. Um, Milpias on the Matrix. You got it. Good. Yep. You got it, Shelly. I'm going to put that aside. John's making a note about it, and you are in business. Uh, if you read my in introduction, please send me an email to poostuff at gmail.com. You can send me a message here, too, and it just might get mixed up and spaced out a little bit. Although, I will make sure to get back with you. No PS on Matrix. Just a second, Mark. Just catching up with everything else, and I am called up. Look at that. So, Ted, I showed you what was on the back right, even though I didn't know the answer to that. Uh, it's a big piece. It's just a big piece of something. Um, all right, Shelly, you got that. The Milpias on the Matrix. There's two. Oh, there's three of them. So we'll go look at all of them. This one's got brochantite. Now, so this stuff is all from a miner's collection because they stopped mining last year in June of 2020. Uh, the water table got flooded. They, they apparently there won't be any more new Milpias coming out. Um, and this is like some miners had some stuff stashed so they can make some money later on. So I picked up some stuff from that. Um, that's one. And again, the, uh, you'll have to tell me if it's the one with brochure tight. If you want to, you want to see more, talk more. This is the one with the, just the malachite. I mean the azurite, sorry. On, uh, uh, trying to get it to focus a little bit. Focus. Nice little rosette. Tiny bit of contact on the back. Good color. All right, we got one more Milpias Azurite I can show you over here on the matrix that you were asking about. I don't know which one it was. Thanks, Shelly. I appreciate that. That makes the world go round. And here's the other one, a little bit of brochure type. So you could say one, two, or three, the first, second, or third one, or describe it somehow if you want to know more about it. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so bummed you guys aren't here in Tucson. So glad that you tuned in. Um, I'm going to let people vote on when or whether they want to hear my new song that I wrote. Um, I hope they can hear me laughing. Yeah, I think they can. <laughs> All right, uh, second bad boy and throw it. Yeah, right? Uh, you know me, I'm trimming. I don't have time to trim it right now. Um, 
I, uh, I got my trimmer at home. I just, uh, right now it's busy time. Uh, so that's the $50 shelf. I didn't show the Siderite. Oops, let's back it up a little bit. There's the Siderite. That's a Chinese Siderite, probably with some calcopyrite on it usually. Well, it looks like no calcopyrite on this one. Lots of times they have calcopyrite. I tell you, the advantage of doing Tucson, for me, is when I buy a whole room. I buy an African room, I buy a Chinese room, I buy all kinds of countries, the whole room. And then everything works out really good. Uh, I get a bunch of rocks, I have to figure out what they are for the next bunch of years and, and play with them and have fun. Uh, this is a, one of those Fujian, I think, Quinshou, uh fluorite on quartz. So let's see. Hey, hey, how you doing, Austin? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Was it an alien? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's an alien eye, all right, Phil. <laughs> it's, it's definitely an alien eye. Staring at you. Peering through you, Philip. We got to hang out sometime over there in Southeast Asia when I come visit, man. That's what we got to do. We got to hang out, man. I'll be back over soon. I'm vaccinated so I can travel. I can do what I want. There's a nice grape agate next to it, too. You ask John. He'll tell you these are some of the best grape agates anybody's ever seen. Some of the ones that I have. Like this one. Uh, this one blows me away. And I've seen a lot of grape agates. Well, both of these actually blow me away. This one and this one, the wave. Let me zoom in on the wave. There we go. Look at those lustrous balls. Spheroids, let's call them so I don't sound too perverted. All right. There's a nice Okaruso. Oh, man. You like Okaruso? That's one. That's an Okaruso. Sorry, I, I get things a little messed up sometimes. Uh, Ten thousand dollars, Philip. Uh, size. That's the size. If you need more information about it, I can give you. All right, sounds good, Philip. Good to hear you got that. You got it, and we can get we can get back to life. You know, if you need more measurements, I can give you more measurements. I can give you more precise measurements with my caliper. Except my friend took my caliper today. And didn't bring it back like he was supposed to. Um, if you want to see the whole thing, it's not complete on the back. Most, most are not. Uh, the, here, it's uh, it's not broken. It's not damaged. It's growth interference. Where there's probably some calcite or something uh, growing into it. There. Uh, here's the whole way around. Yeah, you know it, Christian. That's the way to do it. Um, I've sold rooms, too. I've sold whole walls, anyway. I don't, have I ever sold a whole... No, I've not sold a whole room. I've sold whole entire walls uh, multiple times. Um, I, this last one I called the Great Wall of China. It was 100 flats, all mixed Chinese stuff. Uh, all right, we've enjoyed the Alien Eye just about long enough, I think. Um, oh, this is real. I really like this calcite. That's why I put it on the, on the desk instead of, uh, out on display. It's like one of those flowers, Chinese flower stalactite things. Um, oh, well, wow, this is kind of funny because this came in the African room. The African room had a few things that weren't African in it, and this is one of them. I love the, the multiple layers, the way it it grew and had sort of like a, a spurt and then grew some more and then a little flower on top. Sup, Casey? How you doing, man? We have got to finally settle something. I'm not worried about it. If you're not, we should settle up sometime, though, and it'll have to be after Tucson because Tucson's crazy time, man. Um, let's see. Sure thing, Philip. You lost your internet again? Huh. Uh, let's see, I was showing the $100 shelf. I'll go back to that. There's a Deanna Maria, Graver Jones pocket. Oh, no, that's, uh, that's uh, yeah, that's Deanna Maria. That's weird, it's a Graver Jones pocket because uh, Graver didn't do the Deanna Maria. He did the Rogerly. You have to figure that out sometime. Oh, uh, nice, good job, John. 
there's a pyrite on hematite from Elba Island. That's a manganocalcite. Uh, and another manganocalcite. Uh, these green calcites fluoresce of nice bright orange and a short, uh, long wave UV. There's what I thought might be sort of a black fluorite. It's not entirely black. It's definitely purple, just a little darker than most. Now, here's a really cool azurite. I like this azurite a lot, too. You're going to hear me say I like something a lot, a lot. Here's one of these. Ah, here's a steel. Iridescent rainbow pyrite from Peru, only $100. Normally $220. Somebody could take it home. These are so rare. Only a one-time find. Basically, the understanding is that the, uh, the pyrite formed in what they call a chimney. It's not a real chimney. They call it a chimney structure in the mine and the... And it, for, it, was, it didn't form post-mine, it formed, you know, it was in there. And then a secondary uh, mineralization came through and vapor deposited uh, something <laughs> on top of the uh, pyrite to give it this iridescent color. Um. Right, here's a steel watermelon tourmaline from Alta Lagonia, Mozambique. Nope, that's not the way to do it. It's over here on the white again. That's a little better. It's even better still. All right, and it's on the $100 shelf. All right. Well, it's fun to watch <laughs> over your shoulder, watch my thing. Yeah. And then I can tell the lag time, too, that way, yeah. It's a long lifetime. Yeah. I doubt that others have that kind of light. Maybe. Whew. But I can time it with precision because I can see when you're talking and when something shows up. All right, yeah. All right, I'm looking for questions. I don't see too many. Um, showing rocks. This is the $200 shelf now. Another Deanna Maria fluorite. Chris Cole after azurite. Cool, Casey. Glad to see you're back. Um, like I said, we'll have to hang out a little bit after the gem show's over because I am just swamped, falling down every day. If I was supposed to have some uh, fatigue from my uh, from my COVID uh, vaccine, I wouldn't know it because I'm so exhausted anyway. Oh wow, that's panned all the way out. I can't pan any further out on that. That thing's big. This is fluorite and uh, smoky quartz. And maybe if I look at it closely, I think this was a little amethystine, which I've never seen any other amethyst from uh, the Tongbai Fujian area. So you can sort of see here, it's, it's definitely amethystine there. Um, right here, especially. Thanks, Jennifer. I appreciate that. Oh, Jonathan Goldberg. What am I supposed to show you? Did you see the Antarctica quartz? Are you interested in seeing the Antarctica quartz? All right, Casey. Good to hear it. You better get out here and have some fun then. Um, that's, uh, yeah, this is all $200 shelf. This is a stretchy shelf that is all true. That's a pentagonite. One molecule different from uh, cavensite. One molecule of water different from cavensite makes pentagonite. Um, cave and rock. Minerva, you, you guys are better than me at knowing the exact mines on this, so I defer to the people that know the exact fluorite mines and locations. You've studied that a lot more than me. For me, it was all CIR, Cave and Rock, forever. All right, let's see. John, then just for fun, since you just tuned in and other people have tuned in and maybe not been in that long, I want to show you the, since you're a locality kind of guy, this is as rare as it comes. That's from Antarctica. That's the... Uh... Oh, nice. There you go. <laughs> All right, then. Um, let's see. I was looking for Jonathan Feigen to show up so I could show him something, too. Um, let's see. What, what do you want to see?
I'll tell you, there's some more grape agates. Demorderite and quartz. I mean, I can just keep flat. You know, this gets Libyan desert glass, Columbianites, tectites from uh, Vietnam, uh, barbell tectites from Vietnam. I picked those up when I was there a couple years ago. Do you have a $50 next three rocks? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's this one. This is for Ted. Good job, Ted. I, I think you'll enjoy it. It's fun. I swear that looks like a dolphin right there or some sort of fish swimming along it. So, awesome, Ted. Thanks for that. I hope you'll, I know you'll enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Um, Ah, John. Uh, it is different. You are correct, Ted. Oh, here's a purpurite crystal. You don't see purpurite crystals much. You usually see just massive rough. Uh, Namibia. Yeah. Oh, yeah, from Larimer, Lar Larimer County, yeah. Larimer, not Larimer. <laughs> I wish it was Laramar County. A whole county made of Laramar? Wow, that'd be fun. Anybody want a crazy wolf of night? That's one crazy wolf of night. It will arrive safe and sound. I guarantee it. Um, it's, really, it's a nice rock. Let's see. Oh, I got carvings. I'm allowed to play with carvings on this page. Uh, grape agate flat. Or pieces. <laughs> uh, that's new Guerrero production. It's not from the typical uh, mine that the Guerreros come from forever. It's nearby. It's a new production. So being here next to Mexico, I do everything I can to support the uh, miners when they come in with boxes of rocks and and uh, <laughs> and try to uh, try to help support them so they can keep digging and keep finding more neat stuff and bringing it to me. Um, well, I'm paused, uh, in my brain. Uh, we could look at thumbnails. Those are easy and fun and we can scan across them. They have names and, and, and colors. Scan the carvings. You got it, Kathy. What's that? Well, oh, the, what'd you say, John? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, thanks. All right. Uh, this is Aquamarine from Mozambique. Uh, there's, wow, there's so much stuff on here. There's an octopus, uh, sea tortoise, fish. I believe I got a, another fish. Whoops, get focused there. There we go, focus. I believe there's a, oh, not on this one. There's no seahorse on this one, but anemones at the bottom. Yeah, and the color is just wow on this thing. This was a, oh, yep. Okay, let's do that. This is a uh, Labradorite from Labrador, Canada. Aquamarine from Shigar, Pakistan. This one's not carved yet. It will be. <laughs> this is a koala in quartz. That's kyanite dragon. We'll do one one half of the shelf at a time because there's a lot of a lot of carvings. This is rhodochrosite from Argentina with all the sea creatures on it. This is a uh, hey Matt. Thanks for tuning in. Good to see you today. Nice to meet you in person for sure. This is a. Uh, this is, uh, it's, it's not jade. It says jade, and somebody wrote the label wrong when they were helping me out one time. This is uh, chromium-rich chalcedony from the same place that the Zambian emeralds come from. This is a uh, barrel from Maine carved into an octopus. Uh, it's terminated. Uh, that's uh, my, uh, I forgot the name of it always. It's Ho Hokkaido, or no, I can't remember. It's the Japanese tsunami motif that you see the wood cut of and I had a ton out of sapphire I got this oh Carl Spritz that's his name the guy that I got the uh the rough from in South Africa he's he's gone now he was a good guy he was old he used to get a lot of great South African material 
That's one of my uh, temple carvings. The uh, I call it the path to enlightenment, the Tanzanite path to enlightenment. Uh, Khaleesi, uh, mother of dragons. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know it. It's the Game of Thrones. Uh, this is the Amatrine dragon. Oh, the jellyfish. Who has ever carved a jellyfish out of tourmaline? And that kind of tourmaline? Wow. And it's not terminated. It's polished on the bottom to make it flat. But it is complete on the back side. That's, uh, that's the faces of the crystal, striations and all. Um, here's a Shiva out of Amatrine. Here's one of my favorite Pedro Michels that I did with him. Um, that uh, It's a Pala Chief Mine uh, Tourmaline. There's an Opal Octopus, a, uh, a uh, dragon out of rutilated quartz. Oh, my polar bear. I did a topaz polar bear. Again, I try to get things done that nobody's ever quite done before. There's a Tanzanite Ganesha. There's an empty spot. <laughs> There's a, uh, a Tanzanite uh, iguana, a Ganesha out of Amatrine with a citrine belly. Uh, another dragon out of barrel that time. Rutilated dragons, sort of more the medieval style, not the Chinese style that they usually do. There's a rutilated dragon, Chinese style. And there's a uh, uh, rubellite, uh, batriolo tourmaline from Burma, turtle, turtle. Oh, this chrysoprase dragon is really nice, I think. And there's a whole little grouping of animals carved out of uh, Tiffany stone, uh, which is a opalescent fluorite. Uh, and then we're getting uh, the Morganite bunny. Oh, I do have a Morganite. Somebody asked. It's a Morganite bunnies, though. That deserves to come out for a quick second. Five bunnies hanging out on the uh, on the Morganite, which is terminated on the bottom. And really cool Morganite, like gemmy and inside. Nice color. Um, there's another Chrysoprase carving. This is Australian Chrysoprase, by the way. There's a Grateful Dead carving. Another uh, English-style dragon. Uh, the... Frogs on a lily pad, out of fluorite, um, a turtle out of opal. And, oh, I got this piece of uh, petrified wood in the Philippines. Took it right over to Thailand on my on the same trip to Asia. I just swung over to Thailand, dropped it off, and had it carved into this really cool woodland creature scene hanging out on a petrified log. That would be it for those. Is there something we should go back to? Uh, okay, uh, which octopus? There's a couple of them. Hokusai, that's right. All right, um, which octopus? I guess I need to know. The white one. Oh, the opal one. It's 3,500. Um, and with really bright light, and the more you look at it in person, the more opal you can see. I don't know if I can get enough light on it to see it right now. Let's see. Yeah, there you can start to see the colors. See, there you got colors. You got a, the eyeballs got color. It's, it's really a lot of color. You just have to really enjoy it and meditate with it to start seeing it, all the color. And again, this is just a household light. If you get, get going with the sunlight, it really lights up. And as I said, you are welcome to make some offers. I'm open to offers. This is Tucson. So this is Tucson. Nah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Was... Ah, this one. This is 8,500. Um, I have a partner in it. I mean, the rough is, you see how big this aqua is. It was huge Mozambique aqua. It was kind of crazy to decide to carve it, but my buddy lives here in town. He brought it to me a couple of years ago. I took it over to Thailand. Look, it looks like some crystal facing there. Um, I took it over to Thailand, had it carved, brought it back. So we're partners on it. Um, thanks, John, for the support. Thanks. Uh, yeah, you do indeed. Thanks, Jennifer. Appreciate that. The Chrysoprase Dragon. Yeah, you got it. Let's 
Let's see if I can get the zoom. Let me get a little zoom on that. And then it focuses better because it's really detailed. And the back is flat. And it's got some good translucency to it. There, oh, yeah, there it is. It glows. Ooh, that burns my fingers. Uh, sorry about the not perfect focus on this guy. I was going to try out my new Google Pixel 3, and then it didn't, uh, it wasn't charged. <laughs> and I didn't have a USB C charger to charge it, so I was out of luck on that. Uh, anyway, that's 440. Reasonable offers considered. Catching up, catching up, catching up. Yeah, I hear you, Jonathan. <laughs> uh, the rough was like, I don't know, I think he said like $4,000 or something for the rough. It was a really important piece. I got a couple of uh, Uvarvite spheres. I don't see any other questions at the moment. I will, of course, be here and wait for lag. And meanwhile, I'll show the other side of the carving shelf. We can always switch sides again, back and forth. This is a barrel. Uh, that's not the right thing. That's a barrel. Uh, no more carvings on the top shelf. There's a little Ganesha and a dolphin. They're separate. Those are topaz from Brazil. There's my impressive rooster. The azurite malachite egg. You sure can. It's right here. This is from Dennis Brand. He's semi-famous for his eggs. He developed a machine to cut eggs, to carve eggs, in a way that nobody ever had before. I actually got to see the machine when I was over in the Philippines a couple of years ago. Same with his spheres. He figured out a way, makes, a way to make spheres different than anybody ever had before. And, um, and did a great job of it. He's still, well, he passed away, but his factory's still there working away. Uh, the Azurite Malachite egg is there. Um, Jonathan, the Roto is 6,500. Um, again, you can make offers. The Azurite Malachite egg is 750. Um, and everybody, uh, does everybody notice that Michelle Sensosti is watching? <laughs> or is it only me that gets to see that? I've always wondered about the comments. Because it's got that Facebook glitch going on where I see Michelle Sansosti watching every two or three minutes, or two or three seconds even sometimes. All right, we've, we've done the full 360 a couple of times on the egg. If you have more questions, please let me know. Um, meanwhile, this uh, Komodo dragon, I uh, picked up the Sit Sit in Thailand, and then I went to... Uh, Bali, and then after I went to Bali, I went over to Komodo Island, and then I went back to Bali. I was like, hey, why don't you carve me a Komodo dragon? That was pretty fun. The Opal Octopus 3500, and again, open to offers. Um, I can show it to you again, tell you more about it. It's a, uh, it's a, um, uh, meant to be, meant to be Opal from meant to be Australia. Um, oh, this thing's got water in it, I believe. This is a, I've done a couple of water in hydro carvings. Um, let's see if we can see the water in this thing. Maybe not in person. Maybe not in the video. I need a better light, and my flashlight's pretty dead. We might not be able to show you water in there. I've had a couple of carvings made that were in hydros. I'm working on getting some more rough so I can make some more of them. Wait, sorry, I'm not showing you. I'm looking at it myself. I always do that. Yeah, I'm not really... Wait, is that... Oh, yeah, there it is. See it? See the water moving there, hopefully? Right there, that bubble. I see it in person. You can see where it is right there. Uh, it's hard, so hard to focus with one hand with the... Yep, we might not be able to enjoy that as much as we'd like to. Um... Let's see, there's a rutilated quartz dragon. This thing is really good. Rutilated quartz dragon. So there's a combination of the of the work that goes into it and the rough that came out that it started with that bases the price. Um, really, really nice material ends up being a little more expensive. That's two dragons, by the way. So there's one. There's the other one. Ooh, John made me think I want a sip of my drink, and I will in just a second. 
That's a, I really love this thing. The Morganite dolphin coming out of the albite waves, the river, I mean the ocean. Yeah, that was fun. The pink dolphin. There's another octopus. This is a rubellite octopus. Um, you can't see, oh yeah, Michelle. Well, mm, bummer. Uh, well, no, not bummer. It's just, I was wondering if other people see it or not. Kind of. Oh, this is a carving to be. I don't know what yet. I meditate with them sometimes for a long time, contemplate what they what they're releasing. I'm hoping to figure out something that really plays in with the lapidolite and the tourmaline. So the tourmaline would be the accent, and the lapidolite would be the background. And I got to figure out exactly what it would be with the. Uh, this is uh, this is Brazilian. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. I appreciate that. I, I really am pleased with them. Let's see. I think we're all caught up. There's a snail, a couple of snails, a pair of snails out of rubellite, a frog out of rubellite, a frog out of veridolite or green tourmaline, if you want to be. These are really neat. They're, and this is a really gemmy piece, too. That's what I'm going next level now with everything. I'm going with really the good, good quality stones to have the carvings done. Because I think it makes all the difference. As I said, I gotta get a drink. I'm gonna clear my throat. Um, I don't know. I might. <laughs> You're welcome, Kathy. Thanks for enjoying them. Mm. Mm-hmm. Hey, Anna, are you coming tomorrow? There's a couple, one more, two more shelves of car. Well, I didn't even show you all these. That's what I heard. Somebody told me that today. Um, these are the uh, little forest creatures. My buddy uh, Caesar, John Caesar, um, went and collected this stuff back in the 40s or 50s or 60s, 40, 50 years ago, he said. So hard to remember. Oh, yay, and I look forward to it. Um, um, but he collected the stones, and then I took, them to, uh, I took them over to Thailand to have them carved just recently. And what we're going for is the, it's a rope fungus, as you might have seen. And look, I got the back end of the frog and the front end of the frog coming out of the log. This is... I guarantee you this is my concept. Maybe somebody did it before. Look at the little owl hanging out in the little stump. Uh, they range. That one's two fifty for the owl. Um, and half the money goes back to John because he's uh, 86 years old and mined these things. All right. You can do that anytime you want. That one's uh, two twenty for the uh, turtle. Um, I really, I mean, my favorite, my favorite of all of them, maybe John will just claim this one right now, is the bunny eating the carrot, hanging out in the log, with his little Peter Cottontail hanging out of the backside. Uh, the frog, let's see, there was, this frog, yeah, it was 250, it is 250. Um, I'll tell you ahead of time, these aren't really available for offer because I got to split the money with John and they're not really that expensive anyway. So, um, let's see. Oh, here's another turtle hanging out. Yertle the turtle. Kind of looks like Yertle the turtle, right? Here's another little bunny, smaller bunny, little eyes peeking out and his little paws. I mean, they really do a great job. He's got the Peter Cottontail hanging out the backside, too. The tourmaline frog. Uh, um, 450 on this guy. You saw how Jimmy he was. If you mean the green tourmaline frog, I got two tourmaline frogs. I got this one, which is the super Jimmy green one. This is Brazilian material. I don't know if I'm allowed to do this, but how much for the tourmaline snails? Definitely allowed to do it. Um... The larger tourmaline snail is three fifty, and the smaller tourmaline snail is two hundred. Okay. 
All right. And the other tourmaline frog, in case that was what we were talking about, I didn't pay attention enough. He's a pretty big rubellite. Um, he's 450 as well, and he's got the really cool sides on the back. Well, I mean, you saw the other one's a complete crystal terminated and everything. That's a natural termination on the green frog. You can just see it's totally a natural termination. Uh, this one's 450. This is Brazilian. And he sits perfectly. So he'll lean back. He'll lean forward. He'll lean to the left and the right. He also sits just perfectly upright on that basal termination. Clive, hey, man. How you doing, bud? Kind of wish you were here in Tucson. Well, I don't kind of. I really wish you were here in Tucson. I'm glad you made it over the first set. Um... This is a rainbow obsidian from Mexico. No, no, no. This is Oregon rainbow obsidian. Sorry. Um, 480 on this one with the lotus blossom. <laughs> Always. Oh, this is a really fun one. This is, uh, I call it, it's sea critter scene carving. Uh, Four Peaks, Arizona amethyst. Perfect little crystal with some... Uh, hematite or whatever to give it the sparkle in there and in real life in person you can really see some sparkle in the termination there have you ever showed these to morgan sonsegan no i don't know in morgan Denver, morgan mm, no, he's in so. the carvings oh cool he would he would flip out over these oh nice i have to hook you up yeah please do this is so you got the octopus the turtles um a little bit of fish action coming out, a seahorse on this one. But really, it's all about, the, for me, yeah, it's a great carving. I would display it like this and let it be a surprise that it's carved if I had it in my collection, you know. Um, do I have a mole? Um, yeah, on the back of my neck. No, <laughs> Sorry, I, you know me, I'm a joker. I do not have a mole. I do not. I have these creatures. Um, interesting. I'm a, oh, I have this that nobody else in the whole world has, I guarantee you that nobody else in the entire world has... I'm going to balance the phone so I can show you his grin. Do you know who that is? That's the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. Pretty close for, for a calcite carving. Jeez, do you know how hard it is to carve calcite? I've never done it. I do know how hard it is. Now watch this. It's even extra special. It's really extra special. Like I said, nobody in the world has one of these. Except me. No worries. That's only the PayPal here thing. Look at that. Mangano calcite. Full UV reactive. Cheshire cat with the big glowing grin. There he is. Look at that. Isn't that just incredible? I think it's incredible. I was really thrilled to be able to commission and create, have that created. Ah, pick up the phone again. Let's see. Any comments? Oh, Clive quite, Clive quite is watching. <laughs> that's my comment for the moment. Yeah, wow. I, I, that's what I tell you. That's like, I don't see him. You oh, you don't? Maybe he's not really there. Maybe it's... Well, Clive, are you really there? <laughs> oh, he's uh, 450 for the Cheshire Cat. Thanks, Lou. Thanks, Ted. All right, Cheshire Cat going back on the shelf for the moment. Let's see. This is one, I mentioned it earlier, and this is a really good one. That's one of my favorite, favorite motifs I've done. Now, this is maybe tough to see on here, on the video. Let's see, I'll do the thing again with the thing. So I can focus and just set it down. So, it's topaz from Burma. I, again, I picked the stone. I source 90% of these stones. I source myself in other parts of the world and then take them to different parts of the world. Take. I think there's a word for that when you bring gems from one country to another uh, the way I do it. I think there's a special word for that. Glenn Fry had a song about it in the 80s. Um, now, see, it's showing up. 
This is the path to enlightenment. You walk along the path there and stop and meditate at a temple and keep walking along the path. You could take a detour over this way to this temple. Uh, you come back around this way, walk around the mountain, up the stairs. I'm losing my path. Maybe, oh yeah, there you go. Do, 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 switch back. And you can barely tell that it's carved. That was the plan. There it is the rest of the way up. So you got to go. Oh, there it is. The little tunnel. You got to go through this little tunnel here. Um, and then catch the rest of the stairs up to the top temple. So this is a, a thing that I developed. Uh, like I said, I call it the path to enlightenment. I've had it made uh, 10 or 20 times now out of all different stones. Let's see, there's the topaz from Burma. Um, oh, we didn't look, oh, this is William Sight. Anybody familiar with William Sight? Whoops, rotate my phone. Oh, there goes the dizziness, I see. <laughs> it's fun to watch it on your screen and realize what I'm doing there. <laughs> so this is, again, the uh, Game of Thrones dragons, because I had a real passion for those for a little while. There's all three of them, or is there only two? I think there's all three. Yeah, the other one's on the back side. There he is. Um, oh, wait, that's the same one. Mm, you got to study this thing for a while. Maybe it's only the two, Viserion and uh, Viserius and Drogon. Um, William's site is a chromium-rich serpentine um, from Williamsburg, Maryland, or Virginia. So that's type locality. Yeah, well, this is actually a new find okay. that wasn't from that place. This is from Virginia, but it's a different find than the original Maryland Williams site. Uh, I got it from a guy that mined it a few years ago, and he had me bring some out to Tucson, sell a little bit for him, and I scored a piece to make a carving out of. How much was the topaz price? Uh, sticker priced at 800 on the topaz mountain scene, the the uh, the path to enlightenment. I did name it Mount. I just some again. I have people that work labels, and sometimes they get a little different and weird. And I have to get the corrections made. And, and you have more than one I mean, in terms of oh yes, yeah. indeed. You can pop over now if you want. That's fine. That'll be fun. We're probably got about. I'm. I'm just guessing. We got about another hour unless it gets really hot in here. And I don't mean like temperature wise. I mean like, like Nelly wise. <laughs> only only some people will get that when some people are like what nelly what what is nelly see it says mexico it's not mexico it's old oregon darn labels you'll even see labels that got my email wrong that's how some employees don't quite get the job done right <laughs> that's why it's best to do it yourself oh no <laughs> let's see must have been towards the end of the season when the Oh, I'm turning into a white walker. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Jennifer. Good, good looking out. Um, all right, Jonathan. See you in a couple minutes. Oh, getting street food. Oh, nice. We're gonna go get some food shortly. Oh, Aquamarine, another Dennis Brand carving, the Aquamarine Bear. Oh, this was a really, really fun one. So I bought a collection from. Uh, it's an African collection, not a whole room, just a collection. And uh, this is Brazilian, though. Most of what I bought was African. And uh, this was Brazilian. And it, it's a dragon holding a crystal ball. It was a quartz crystal growing with this tourmaline. And I was like, man, can you make that dragon holding that perfect crystal ball? And the answer is, yeah. Yeah, the Chinese Feng Shui dragons commonly hold crystal balls for power. Yeah. And good luck or something. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And then just to have it, like accentuated with the quartz crystal all natural beautiful i love this thing it was really fun i almost ended up paying one of my workers that did thumbnails he almost took this and instead he bought his mom something with his credit um let's see oh i haven't shown this one this one was really fun um this is morganite uh with lapidolite and tourmaline let's see if we can get the focus on it Oh, cancel. Ah, good. I almost accidentally ended the video. Um, 
I see it's a lotus blossom flower uh, with the turtle on the back side and the leaves, the green tourmaline made the leaves and the stem from the lotus. Yes, sir and ma'am, that is my design. This is what I mean when I say that I sit down and design these carvings with people. I meditated, had this stone for a number of years before I decided what to do with it. Um, for fun, since nobody's whooping and hollering that I need to do anything else. Wow. I, I'm so impressed. Oh, thanks, John. I appreciate it. And I'm not even impressed. You know that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the dragons. Sorry. Thanks for asking. Um, 850 on the William Sight Dragons. And again, lots of things you can make offers on. Uh, 650 on the tourmaline uh, with the crystal ball, Jonathan. Kearney, just ask me which one you want to price on. Unless I, I, I forget, you know, like I'm more into the rocks than the prices. And I usually try to show the label when I pick the thing up, which has the price on it. Uh, it was carved in Thailand, Chiang Mai, Thailand. I do have John, J John Warren here helping me out with uh, catching the questions. And if you ask a price, I'll give it to you within two and a half seconds usually, if I haven't told you already. I just, uh, yep, I'm just, I'm just focused on the rocks. Ah, uh, yeah, 350 on the Morganite Lotus. Morganite Dolphin price, you got it. Um, 300 on the Morganite Dolphin. Look at the waves are all carved intricately as well. And it's uh, two-sided. All right. Now what was, I was gonna go show something else as I thought about it. It wasn't a carving exactly, but it was something similar to a carving. I don't remember what I was thinking. All right. Yep, see, John's helping me out with the prices when you ask him. I, oh, I haven't shown this Amatrine chameleons. Or iguanas, chameleons, I get confused. I think these are chameleons. Yeah, look, they got the tails and the, and the combs. These are chameleons. Pretty neat to do amateur. I've done... Uh, I like chameleons that change color. And tanzanite, there's a tanzanite chameleon over there. It changes color. These kind of change color. Just depending on the angle, what's what's shining through, if it's the... Uh... All right, and it's 850 on the Amatrine chameleons. Three of them. Let's see. Oh, Agni Manatite. Uh, I do not have any right now. I have Columbianite. I have Libyan Desert Glass. I have Moldavite. Oh, did I say that out loud? Shoot. Nobody wants Moldavite, do you? Um, I don't have any rough Moldavite. I have Moldavite in sterling silver jewelry, and I have Moldavite facets. I don't have any rough Moldavite. You have Libyan Desert Glass by the Gram, don't you? Yes, I have Libyan Desert Glass by the Gram. That's pretty amazing. Yep, there's Libyan Desert Glass. Talk about a hard place to get to. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Zach. I appreciate it. How much is it, and can you show... How much is what, Deborah? <laughs> I'm not sure what it is when you say how much is it. I, I, was it... Was it um, I said how much the dolphins were. I said how much... Uh, oh, the chameleons, I said how much they were. That's why I'm not sure. Yep, you just tell me what you're talking about, and you can see the Roto Sea Creature carving. Yeah. This is the one rotocrosite carving. It's so I have done some really good uh, videos of this one in the past. The second I got it, the second I got it, I opened it back. I, I wrapped it up when I settled the deal with the carver at my hotel in Bali. And then I uh, unwrapped it and shot a video of it immediately and posted it on my own Facebook because, wow. It's spectacular. It's spectacular. It is. Let's Let's... Let's give it a moment to do its thing here. Come on now. There we go. Too heavy? Might be too heavy for the turn. No, it's not too heavy for the turn. It just needs to get pounds. Oh, wait. 
Come on. The turntable not turning? It's not. It's trying to, I think. It's not quite turning. Yeah, give it a little start. Good start. There Thank you, go. John. Still, it's going slow. I can just do it by hand. It's spectacular. There it goes. And there it stops. Yeah, it's a little heavy for this turntable. I could, I would recommend another turntable, I guess. I thought I was going to give John this turntable if he took the, to the carving. If it doesn't do the job, there's no it's point in it. Thank you, Zach. I need to get back over and get some more made soon. I've got a pile of rough saving up to go do it again. There we go. It's going now. And it's stopping again. <laughs> All right, I think you've seen the whole way around a couple of times, so we can go on to something else. Absolutely. The sea anemones, um, the corals with the tips. I really love the corals with the tips. Uh, and you can see through it, inside it. You see how, like, it, it's, it's definitely... I don't know. You call it 3D. I think it's even got another D. <laughs> All right. It's not spinning anymore. We'll go ahead and put him back. Oh, I remember what I was going to show you now. As long as I don't forget again. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is just something else I thought of when I said that I had uh, saved up that tourmaline, uh, was it the tourmaline that I saved up? One of, well, I've saved up a lot of them to figure out what to carve out of them. This, I saved this tourmaline crystal for six or seven years waiting to figure out what kind of jewelry to make from it. And it's the Emerald City, of course. Um, let's see if I put it down. And I don't get a glare from the glass. Good job. There we go. Impressive that you're doing so it's diamonds in the bale, sapphires into savorites, and the tourmaline. And it's 18 karat gold. Uh, Deborah, which one are you saying? How much is it? The Oh, you're talking about the rhodochrosite now. Um, uh, 6500 is the asking price on it. Oh, Jonathan can't get in the gate. Oh. Um, hmm. Come around, Jonathan. Come to the front gate, and I think I can get John to come open it up for you. John, will you do that for Jonathan? So, Jonathan, come to the front gate. Let us know when you're there. Holler or something. And I'll give John the key to let you in. The, the gate on Oracle. Um, sure thing, Deborah. Oh, look at that. We're just focused in on this beautiful piece of jewelry here. And, Deborah, again, you can... Uh, yep. Oh, you said that, John. There you go. He said he said thumbs up, so he's on his way. Um, Deborah, you can feel free to make me an offer. Um Oh, wow, it's dark outside already. I tell you, I don't know how much longer we're going to hang around here, honestly. It's uh, dinner time getting close. Ha, ah, Jonathan, you're funny. You're autocorrect or finger fumble, <laughs> as the case may be. Mm. Ah, did anybody ever see the bacon and eggs and hash browns? <laughs> Some people have seen it, I'm sure. Uh, I wanted to show Jonathan this rock when he got here just to mess with him. <laughs> and you guys get to see it too then. That was the whole thing. I would have shown it to him on the live if I knew he was there. And then he showed up, so I'll show him in person. Um, questions? Answers? How much? Uh, 4,000, Shelly. 4,200 4, is my asking on it because it's 42. Um... It's 18 karat gold. Um, all this other jewelry on this board is all my design. I designed all this work. Um, uh, Swiss Army knives, Tanzanite mosaic, uh, a copy of a Nor Kongsberg silver wire, uh, some Grateful Dead and fish designs. It's kind of fun driving my phone around the top of the case. Oh, there's my, my Moon 222 pendant, which has lunar meteorite dust in it, or to the right, 
is Mars, which has a Mars. Ah, uh, the breakfast is not for sale, Adam. That's just for funsies. Um, thanks, Shelly. Uh, the blue bear and the large snail again. You sure can, Kathy. The blue bear, as you see, he's priced at 400. That's aquamarine. You can take him out and look at him a little closer. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah. How you doing? Oh, nice. You brought that. Yeah. Get away. There's the aquamarine bear on both sides. Did you see this thing, Jonathan? Yeah. You did already? You didn't even look at it. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> saw it in your hand. When? Just No, Just this. Oh, no. No, you didn't see it. That's oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> I messed with Jonathan there. All right, uh, how's it going? Can you add the fish bubbles? Absolutely. Um, will you make a note, John, about the fish bubbles for Robert Sansosti? You got it, Robert. Thanks, man. I'm stoked. I love... So I, I co-opted the fish bubbles like we co-opted the lightning bolt. Now, there was something else. Uh, sorry, I got to go back a little bit. You want to see the large snail again. There we go. Large snail. This is Brazilian tourmaline. Um, carved in Thailand. Yeah, I know how much it's sixty-five, but yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Robert and I have been working together a long time, and yeah, yeah, it's a gorgeous snail. Let's put him on the white background. You can see that's a rubelite snail, also. Yeah, this is the bigger one. Yeah, that's how much did you say? Uh, three fifty. Yeah. Yep, three fifty on this one. Oh, yeah. Somebody needs to buy that, so I don't. <laughs> but I'd like the little one, too. I mean, uh, either of those would be happy. In my now the turntable's working a little bit. Let's see. <laughs> but this one, right, Jonathan? Yeah, I love that. Where was that carved? Everything's for sale. we got to talk about it a little bit. Uh, this was carved in Thailand. In Chiang Mai? The antenna may have had a, a, a crack in it, in the in the tourmaline. Um, it's not broken. It may have been a crack in the tourmaline when it was when it was there. It's hard to see. Come on, focus. There, you can sort of see it there. Yeah, it, 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 I think it has a superficial crack in it, um, in the one antenna. And so many tourmalines have a crack. Perpendicular to the C-axis. Yeah. Uh, almost always don't reach the surface. But sometimes do and some, some sometimes self-yield. Yeah. It's coming from a journal expert. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> All right, folks. If somebody want to see something, play with something, tourmaline for... What's that? Oh, that's a two hundred dollar Alta Lagonia Mozambique tourmaline. Show Jonathan Goldberg and Jonathan Feigen the Tajikistan thumb size L bite, Jimmy L bite. I can show that. And others. I have six coming from Italy on the way right now. Oh, Tajiks? Yeah. Nice. That oh, that's big? Nice. That's a big Tajik, isn't it? Not that big. <laughs> nice. I love hearing that. I love hearing it when I got the biggest one. Yeah. <laughs> I love the color of this too. It's just yeah, it's really, some yeah. It really, I don't even know how many colors—six or seven colors easily. Yeah, that's a quality Tajik. That's huge for Tajik. Yeah, and the blue haze on the top. What's it weigh? Do you know? I can tell you in about two and a half seconds. Jonathan knows because he asked me before, and I don't. He knows more than he'll remember easier than I will. <laughs> Uh, 53.4 grams, 53, 53 grams. Yep. Has a custom base as well. Our rocks are getting here from Italy next week. I'm so excited. And what's the asking price of that guy? Uh, 5,500. All right, Deborah, we'll go check out the $20 shelf after I see what the balls under the bottom. Sh oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are, uh, all right, thanks Jonathan. Yep. These are, uh. So we look at the balls. They're carved carnelian agate. 
They're, I'm doing them for a hundred bucks each. All right, $20 shelf. We'll go slowly through the $20 shelf. There's a Ventifact from South Africa, which is uh, shaped by the wind and sand over eons of time. I just added this today, actually. This is one of those calcite on hematite on quartz that I got in Morocco. I got the entire production one day when I was in Morocco. I was at a, at a sort of a miniature gem show for us. And the... Uh, and a guy came and got me and said, hey, man, come here, and dragged me down a back alleyway um, to uh, see what he had. And I went with him down a back alleyway. Uh, Absolutely, you're welcome to make me an offer, Kathy. Uh, let me see what else she said. Da, 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 da. Yeah, um, you got it. If you want to make me an offer, it was uh, 350 and 400 So what, what feels good to you? Let me know. Um, so uh, calcite with hematite, I was telling you that story. Here's an aragonite from Spain, the type locality in Spain, and it's been sliced and acid etched, so it makes a really cool star form like that. Uh, here's a hematite, I mean, no, it's just pyrite. You know, sometimes there's hematite with these. This is from Elba, Italy. Uh, this is a mask carved out of uh, mammoth bone um, from Madagascar. It's a nice little sulfur specimen from Italy. Sicily. There's an emerald uh, faceted uh, oval. There's a galaxy garnet from uh, California, the purest garnet ever found on the planet. Um, actually, one of the scientists that's doing the research on this piece, or this material, came in a couple of days ago, and they're still baffled. They've been trying for three or four years now to figure out what makes this fluoresce, since it's so incredibly pure as a Groschler garnet. Yeah, that's right. It's on the $20 shelf, even though it's got a $90 price tag on it. I wanted somebody to be surprised and get it here in person. And somebody here on the gem show can get it too. I just can't get it to focus. Uh, let's focus. Uh, if I set it down, put it on the turntable. Now I can get it to focus, maybe. Yeah, tiny little garnet crystals. Um... From El Dorado County, California. Anyway, we've seen that for long enough. Oh, sold Galaxy Garnet to Katrina Brown and so oh wow, there are a few things sold. Yeah, say hi to Katrina for me. Hey Katrina, John says hi. John Warren says hi. Alright, so that was Ted got the mammoth bone. Yep, good score. That's half price. Um and Shelly got the uh or no, yep, Shelly got the Ventifact. Shelly Rachel Shell got the Ventifact. You know what? I'm just going to leave them in the counter because counter it's easier. Well, I don't know. Yeah, it's easier to just leave that in the counter. I'm looking to see if there's other messages I haven't seen yet. Um, Galaxy Garnet went to Katrina. You got that one? Yep. yep. Um, and everybody, if you weren't paying attention earlier, please make sure to send me an email with your information on it so that we can uh, be in touch easily. 625 Kathy you've got a deal thanks so much for making an offer and we got it going on wow and we keep uh, you keeping up John yeah, I was buy that for the, for the, the bigger snail I know oh, all righty so those are done um, and then there was a, uh, a Ragonite star that uh, Deborah Chambers got okay. you got that one got the yep all right, thanks, guys. That was a nice little figure out things there. Let's keep looking at some 20s. We got the emerald. Again, I'm, I apologize for the focus. Grasshopper. These are Bicolite tectites from the Philippines. Um, I picked them up over there when I was there last uh, in uh, 19. Did you recognize star on the twenty? Uh, yes, absolutely. Everything's, yeah, all those are on the 20, yep. Oh, here's a nice Shattuckite and Malachite for 20 bucks. There's an azurine on feldspar for 20 bucks. That's a really cool. It's got a good feldspar crystal, good azurines from Malawi. Again, this is easy. We all know these are 20. Uh, There's a great imperial topaz. Race for it, people. Who wants this first? This is this shouldn't be on the 20 shelf. Jonathan, did you leave? Oh, no, you're there. Okay, <laughs> nice. <laughs> this is a really good Oropreto $20. 
Um, Kathy, it's best if you send it to poo stuff, P U stuff, S T U F F, at gmail.com. It won't get lost in the menagerie of hundreds of Facebook messages I literally get every day. Um, sold Topaz. I think Kearney might have been trying to say Topaz. He said Tope. Um, I think we're, uh, yeah, Kathy, just uh, send that to my. Uh, And the what? And the blue bear. And the blue for a total bear. of uh, 625. 625, yep. I'm catching up, people. Let me just catch up. Um, so, uh, is everybody okay with Kearney getting the topaz? Because he said dope. And he didn't put the whole thing down. I think that's fair and legit. I, I get to make the decisions, right? Because Kathy's asking what uh, Facebook account, and I'm just going to tell her to send you a personal message. Uh, yeah, at, at poo stuff at Gmail, at my email address. Email. email. If you send it at Facebook, it, you know, it might get lost in my spam folder. It might get lost in the hundreds of messages I get every day that I don't want to answer. Not that I don't want to answer yours. I just, and I don't have time to answer. As again, as I asked in my description, please be patient. I'll get this done as quick as I can. I need to sleep tonight at some point. And I'm, uh, <laughs> I think Kearney gets it. Kearney gets the topaz, yeah. No, Kearney gets it. Because Kearney, Kearney tried to say topaz. He just accidentally slipped up and said tope. Uh, yeah. We're still working on $20 shelf now. It's The $20 shelf is double wide, like my motorhome. No, I don't have a motorhome. Um, this is... Uh, like your butt? Yeah. <laughs> this is a Wolfenite from uh, the Red Cloud. No, is this Rowley? Oh, darn it. No, this is Red Cloud. Red Cloud mine. Um... Wolf and I, I picked it up from the miner at the last Tucson event in January, February. And, and again, everything here is 20 bucks, including this Colombian Lemurian, which is a ridiculously good deal. I don't know why. I just wanted to give people good deals, you know, especially, I mean, again, I was aiming for the locals and then I hit you guys because Wolf and I sold to Robert Sensosti. Got that, John? Huh? Yeah, I don't know if you missed it or not, but yeah, it did just happen. Uh, other shelf options. I have a $500 shelf. Oh, we haven't shown the $500 shelf. Let's show it. Here are some incredible stones on the $500 shelf. Uh, so another $20 shelf has sold? Second? No, no, it's a Wolfenite to uh, Robert Sansosti. Okay. Yeah? Uh, the Lemurian sold to uh, Lou Schultz for $20. That's still $20. Oh, wait. Nope. Sorry, Lou. Kearney beat you to it. <laughs> I'm not reading properly. I apologize. Um, Robert Sensosti is the Wolfenite. And Kearney did claim the Lemurian. So Kearney got the Lemurian to it. 20 bucks. Yeah. Thanks. And the program. Richard, we can definitely talk on that. Let's uh, shoot me a, you know, we're in contact. So shoot me a message and we'll wrap on that for sure. Um, I'm just, uh, yep, that'll work. This is Sphalerite. I believe it's from China. Did you get that uh, Richard Rogers would like to talk regarding the green from his frog? Yep, got that. We'll, we will wrap about that. What's that? Do you want me to make a note of that? Nah, we're good. We, we, we talk regular. Thank you. Okay. This is a Sphalerite. This is still the $20 shelf. I started to go up to the $500 shelf. And I at least wanted to... Oh, here's another Galaxy Garnet. Um, it's hard to see. <laughs> there you go. It's a little Matrix piece. 80 bucks on this one, but it's 20 bucks. Um, oh, here's a Garnet from Italy. Grassler. Oh, man, that thing sparkles. Is it Albert? 
No, it's a um, Piedmont. Uh-huh. Piedmont. And that's uh, a. Like you got it, Ted. That's twenty bucks. Jared is uh, calling me. Okay. Done. All right. Come over. Or? Yeah, please. It's a party. Robert, Ted, grab that galaxy. You got the spirit, Robert. You got the spirit for Robert, John? He says, uh, no. Here. I'm not as good at that. Oh, no worries. It's uh, just so Robert Sansosti spirit for 20. And did you get Shelly or Shelly down it from Italy? Uh, no, I didn't. It's in my hand, and you've got it, Shelly. Let's see. Just make sure I'm keeping up. It's hard to keep up sometimes. Oops, go away. Is that the $20 shelf? Uh, yep, 20 bucks. Sorry, Kearney, she beat you to it. Tell you what, I'll go grab another one. A good one. And Ted, you have first right of refusal on this one? Nope, not that one. Let me get you a good one. Oh, here's a, here's a good one. $20, 20 bucks, yep. And this will be 20 bucks if you want it there, uh, Kearney. Since you got beat out on the last one. Let's see, it's normally 30. Thank you, Kathy. Did you get Ted on the Galaxy Garnet? I did. Did you? No. Okay. It's a 20. So, Kearney took the other Italy Garnet. So he's got, this what Kearney's got so far. He's got the Topaz and the Lemurian and now the uh, Italy Garnet. Put that with his other things so they're all together so I know which ones they are. All right. Oh, I got one of these. Scepters from Brazil. Really old. They're from the 80s. I picked it. It's a quartz scepter with a weird like cap. I picked it up in Germany like three years ago, I guess. Last time I was in Germany, I picked up a flat, a cup, one flat, one big deep, well, not deep, but packed, thick, flat of them. Uh, okay, yep. Yep, she did, thank you. The last thing sold was the Kearney. The Garnet. Yep, the Italy Garnet, yep. Okay, great. Now, I need to call Jarrett, and my phone is just about dead. Okay, I look forward to you dropping by, Chantel. I'll call back. And we're Do we have him come over here? Yeah, sure. That sounds great. Yeah, if you need to plug in. Do you have Derek's phone number, John? I do not. I don't need If you need to plug in, I got, I got power. Okay. You got to move, though. <laughs> yeah, move your phone anyway. Yeah, it doesn't, I well, do I can reach it some. Let's see. Yeah, it's kind of tangled up in blue. Good. Chantel, I look forward to seeing you when you can drop by. Yeah, she said she didn't make it by today. She will soon. Hopefully. This is Azurim from Malawi. Nice terminated crystal. Let's go into a voicemail. There's another Adrian from Malawi. So I have two of them there on the $20 shelf. And here's a Steve. One of those local steals. Sold Malawi. Well, um, guessing the first one. Let me know first or second, Lou. I believe you want This is number one. And this is number two. Unless you want them both. So let me know number one or number two. If you want them both, you can have them both. And then I was going to... You got it, Lou. Let me check out the pen real quick. Lou, 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 Lou. This is the this first is thing you right? succeed. What's that? SG. This building. Uh, Sun Gem, yeah. I haven't heard the shortened version of that. Hey, Shireen. 20 bucks. All right, Lou, you're in there. 
I don't think I ever drank my water I wanted to. <laughs> All right, Lou, I got you in there for that one. That's done. Sulfur's not in. None of these guys are in the running. What I got to do is get all this stuff out of the case before somebody shows up tomorrow to want to buy this stuff. Anyway, I was going to show you this. It's a chrysocolla, malachite on chrysocolla from the Congo. Retail price, 60 bucks. Today, it's 20 bucks on the $20 shelf. Really, I love this stuff. It's really cool. It's reminiscent of uh, something that John got yesterday. <laughs> Although not at all. Sold, I guess, Adam, you're talking about this guy right here. So we'll sold Adam Malachite Chrysocola. 20 bucks, Congo. Uh, DRC, yeah. Kearney and Adam, Adam got it. Adam Chiapras. Yeah. All right, well, yeah, put the tag over there. You get the tag with it. All right, let's see. Let's go to the other half of the 20 shelf. And then we can go check out some other price shelves somebody asked about. And if you see something on the bottom you want to ask about, feel free. And that was 20 bucks? Yep. $20 grape agate. It's funny. Sometimes when I say grape agate to friends of mine, they say grape bag of what? I'm like, I didn't say grape bag of anything. You know what I say? What? I say boitriado abathistine chalcedony. Oh, wow. That's a mouthful. Yeah, grape agate is probably okay. I stick with grape agate because that's what it was originally called. And oh, yeah, John's specimen is in my trunk, trunk of my car. I, I better reply to that to, to thing up. Shattuck, you sure can, Kearney. Give me just a second. This is a cactus quartz for 20 bucks. Spirit, amethyst. So many different names for it. It's kind of amatrine with the citrine darkness to it, too. Um... All right, let's go back to the Shattuckite. It's a really, it's a, it's a decent one for sure. Good color, the Malachite, the Shattuckite. It's one of my favorite combinations for sure. Okay, that's uh, that's 20 bucks for Shelly. Yep, Sh yeah, Shelly was first according to me too. Uh, Kearney, here's the Shattuckite. Uh, yeah, 20 bucks. I'm going to move the cactus over to the sold section. Are wow. Are you actually physically moving it? Yeah. Because I thought I saw that bigger snail still on the shelf. No, it's right there. Okay. <laughs> if it was still up there, I was going to bite it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if I have any more cactus since people are into that right now. I have a couple pieces. These won't necessarily be 20 bucks can show you this one is definitely not 20 bucks this is um one of the better pieces i have right now nice deep purple the tag just fell off of it ah. <laughs> the tag says 60 bucks 40 bucks takes it home you can see it's much bigger than the others um good sparkle a little dirty you could clean it up um I know there's lag time, so somebody might say yes, they want it for forty bucks. Yeah, Kearney, forty bucks. There you go, Kearney, you got it. Wow, that showed up on your screen before mine. Yeah, <laughs> and then Robert wanted it too. Sorry, Robert, Kearney got it. Um, all right, let's see. This is going to get interesting. Um, what else did Kearney get again? He got the topaz, right? Okay, I'm going to put it right there with his. And what was the last thing you said? Oh, the Spirit Quartz for 40 That last Spirit Quartz. Yep. And Adam's asking, you got the first cactus. That was Shelly. Shelly and then... Shelly Rochelle. Yep. Let me go back and look real quick, guys. All right, I'm just catching up. Just a second, guys. And gals. Cats and kittens, I like to say. I'm going to... 
Really get rocking these things, I tell you. Yeah, Shelly Rochelle got the second one. And I think was Robert Sansosti the first one, right? Let's see. Of the uh, cactus? No. Who got the first cactus? I have, may have more than one entry Rob, for Robert. Cactus quartz 40. It was, it was Shelly. There were two cactus quartzes. Shelly and... Or three. And there was two for 20 and one for 40. Oh, well, here's the other one. Robert, uh, Robert Sansosti. It was Robert. Okay, you got two lines, Robert. So we got you figured out. We got everything handled here. This is, what else did he get? Robert Sensosti again? Uh, let's see. He got the Wolf and I for 20 bucks. There we go. As long as I put that with his cactus quartz. Yep. That's not on the shelf. Yep. All right. We're caught up. I'm going to look and see. Yep. You got the first one, Kearney. Wait, did you? Well, Kearney didn't get the first no, one, the you, $20 one. He got the $40 one. You got the $40 one, Kearney. You didn't actually get the $20 one. I don't believe we che double checked that, and that was the. Uh, Shelly, right? Uh, Shelly Rochelle got it. Yep. Yeah, yes. Maybe, maybe he thinks he did because uh, I've done that before. Yeah, also. it was It was a little tough. I apologize if there's anything going on crazy. It's really important to say what you're buying, and then we don't get lost in that. Like Robert Sansosti bought the Spirit Amethyst before the one he bought, he bought before it even went public. He just saw it on the twenty dollars shelf and said he's taking it. So he got he nailed that one. Yeah. But hey, I got more cactus. So here's another twenty dollar cactus. Forty, it'll be twenty. We're gonna see the race now. The race is on. It's kind of funky. It almost looks like a shape of some sort. What's that? Oh, the singing quartz. Um, Nobody's claiming the $20 yeah, this one is 50. It's on the $50 shelf. This thing in quartz, it was 65. It's on the $50, and it's long. Oh, yeah. Unless you saw, oh, you saw the whole flat. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's a fun thing. You want the whole flat? Mm, don't see any activity at the moment. Questions and answers. He wasn't there? All right. I know that's a funky spirit. Nobody jumped on that one. Let's try another one. This is a really good one. This is nice shape, classic. Yeah, you're a rubu. That big rubu is totally strange. I think from him. And it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. It's funny. I was kind of looking for it the other day. I didn't remember I'd, where I'd, what I'd done with it this time. Yeah, I remember. I didn't remember right now. I do remember. <laughs> so this is a $20 spirit. Not yet. No, there's been no comments. Oh, no. Am I losing comments? I don't see any comments coming through. Kearney. We're having trouble playing this video. Wow, am I am I offline? So Kearney, I'm gonna start a thing over here. Singing chords fifty. Hey Jonathan, will you peek on your phone and see if I'm yeah. broadcasting? Because I didn't see comments. Kearney wants the fifty dollars singing. You, oh, he's got it. Cool, thanks. He's got it. And yeah, and uh, huh? He's asking why is it called singing chords? Uh, because two of them. I'd like them singing chords for sure. Okay, it's weird because I lost all comments, so John's in charge of the comments now. That's why, can you hear it? That's why it's called Singing Quartz. What's that? Um, you're, yeah, wow, we're having trouble with the comments, folks, I think. I don't know. Ted asked about the Singing Quartz. Everybody says they want Singing Quartz. All right, we'll play Singing Quartz next. This is so weird, darn it. Yeah, I can't do that. All I get is Clive Quite is watching. Swipe left and then swipe back. I did. Oh, okay. Yep, and I saw, all right, well, they're sold 20 bucks, Barbara Dibburn.
Barbara, please tell me what it is you're buying. I did. I swiped it, and it's just like it was weird. It came back now. Barbara took the $20 Spirit. Uh, well, unless somebody else did, but I don't know. Hers all good. Oh, now all the comments came up. No more Topaz at the moment. Shoot me an uh, email, and I can get you some uh, some to some Topaz. I might could dig something up real quick. Um, let's see. I'm trying to follow along. Woof. Woof, 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 woof. Wow, the comments got really crazy. Um, 20 on the spirit. Looks like that went to Barbara. Did you get that one, John? I'm just getting back in, so we'll okay. see. Maybe if I go here. I don't think anybody else jumped on that 20, the 20, this $20 cactus quartz. So, um, some people did ask about singing quartz, so I'm going to go play with, uh, Singing chords in a minute. Here we go. I, 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 I need to catch up on these because I was out. Yeah. I think that uh, Katrina thought that she got a twenty dollars spirit chords. Singing chords. I mean, a, a singing chords would have been fifty bucks. Yeah, there is no twenty dollars singing chords. At least not yet. Uh, we have a Victoria would like to see the Cornelian balls. Barbara Pardon. Gibbon bought uh. something for twenty bucks. Yeah, that's this. Go ahead and write her down for the twenty dollar. Make a note it's thirty two, so I know for sure which one it is. Just number thirty two. Number thirty two. Yep, is Barbara Dibbern. All right, Barbara, I got you down on that one. Da, 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 da. And that was since so Number thirty two for twenty bucks. Uh, yeah, that is spirit quartz, but yeah, that works. Oh, All right, um, and then the singing quartz. This is that. Okay, he's got it, and that's he's got a whole bunch of stuff already. So, yeah, yeah, that's easy to put it with his stuff. Okay, um, as far as I see, the next thing I'm supposed to do is show the carnelian balls. So we'll go number one, number two, number three, and number four. Yes, of course. Victoria, Vic says sold mask $20. Uh, the mask is already sold. Um, anything over... Well, there's the demarc line of demarcation is here. These are sold. From yeah, or the, or here over is sold. If they weren't, if that demarcation wasn't there, I'd buy that snail. <laughs> So all that's sold, that's not sold. Um, sold number two. All right, one, two. I believe this was number two, correct, Victoria? No, no mask. I think she's talking about the uh, the carnelian balls that I just showed her. There is no mask number two. And this is the correct one. Yes, okay, great. Um, I'm getting a little confused, Victoria. How much did I tell you on this? I can go back and listen to it again, or you can just tell me and we're good. Um, John will write it down since this is a little much for me at the moment. I don't know how much. I don't see how you do this alone. Yeah. Well, normally I don't just do it off the fly like this so much. <laughs> That's what I was asking her. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, that's what I thought, Victoria. Thanks. I just didn't want to say wrong. hundred bucks for Victoria on the carnelian ball. Okay. All right. What else did somebody want to see the $50 shelf? Oh, and then... Uh, Let's see. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Yeah, they. I heard them called grapes when I first got them too. But then the grape agate came out, so I didn't want to play with the carnelian balls being agate grapes. All right, we're gonna see the fifty dollars shelf. Um, we want to do. People asked about singing quartz, so let's do that, and then get on top of the uh, fifty dollars shelf. So, you guys can have a twenty five percent discount on the singing quartz, even though you're not getting 10 or more necessarily and you're not here. 
I like to hook up my local peoples. So here's one that would be 30 bucks. I know a few people ask me, you can hear it singing a little bit on my ring, but silver doesn't sing as well as quartz sings on quartz. Yes, if you want a pair, we can work that out because you got to have a pair to have them sing. Uh, so this one, as I said, is 30 bucks. Sold, Lou Schultz, 30 bucks. He did get something. What did he get? The Azurine. Got it. So you're right beside your Azurine there, Lou. Yeah, you're becoming the line of demarcation. And what did he just buy for 30? Uh, singing quartz for number 40. I have a whole flat of them, and I'm offering them out to everybody right now because everybody seemed to want one. Um, here's another one for 30. I'm telling everybody. <laughs> Yep, Kearney, uh, you want this one for, this is 30 bucks. Same as the last one. And uh, if you pack them with something, they vibrate and make a noise? Yep. Tap them with each other is the fun thing, sort of. Yeah, that's cool. Cool. That's amazing. I can hear that first across the room. Yeah. All right, so... Yep, yeah. Barbara Dibburn's got it because she was the first person to say yes on that one. Kearney, I'll pull you out another one and you should be first choice on this one. Barbara needs a second one too. <laughs> Everybody needs a second one as we go. What did Barbara get earlier? Barbara got uh, the spirit quartz. Yep, she got the spirit quartz. Did she just buy a singing quartz for 30? She did. And it's, yep, and I've got her little parcel going so it'll be easy to figure out along the way. I'll be amazed if this accounting system works. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do another. Kearney, you're first up on this one. Even if somebody says they want it before you, it's another $30 singing quartz. Does he want a second? Yeah, he needs one to make the... All right, Kearney, you got this one. Kearney's got a second singing quartz for 30 bucks. Okay. Plus 30. Yeah. All right, anybody else want a singing quartz or who needs a second one? Three clear ones for you. Oh, three. How about three nice small ones? Wait, Kearney shouldn't have three. Singing quartz? $50 or $30 and a $30. No, only $130. The other one went to uh, Are you sure? Barbara. Yep, Barbara and Lou. I, I've got Barbara. I've got Barbara and I've got Lou. No, Kearney. I never showed another. This is the first $30 one that, that Kearney got. So he's okay. good. Okay. Um, here you go. Here's three. Clear ones. Kathy, are you yep. Nice clear ones? Yep. These are pretty nice clear ones. The longer the better. Oh, you want long, long? All right. Let me see. The longer the better. All right. Clear and long. There's a. There's one. You want long and thin, I would imagine. Oh, this one's double terminated. They're all different. It's so weird how that works. Yeah. You want the biggest one? So Lou is saying sold 30 again. Um, I haven't... Okay, I'll get you a second one, Lou, for 30 and uh, let me see if these work for Kathy. She said uh, that would be ideal. Long, I think she Long and thin was ideal. Yep. Yes, Lou, you got it. Kathy, tell me if these three work for you. 65, 65. I'm going to give you a discount, of course, the, the official discount. 65, 65, and 50 is 130, and 50 is 180, minus 25%. That's minus 45. So that's 135 for the three. Not the one on the right, okay? <laughs> Let's see. Um, I don't know if there's a, there's one. So we got the two. I'll put those aside for you. Oh, nice thing. This one's pretty nice. Nice and clear and long. Lou, let me see if I can find you a DT. Kathy, does this make a good third one for you? Kathy doesn't want that fat base. I can tell. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and did she say more about that or she did? No. 
I haven't seen any more. I don't know if I have too many more slender ones like that. I'm almost out. Yeah. Um, Kathy, I'm, I'm flipping through them and I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to grab, I'd like it to be closer and say, um, yeah, that's going to be tough. Yeah, <laughs> they are what they are. They're the way they came out. Here's, here's these two. That's the original two. This one, but it's got that sidecar. I don't know if you want that sidecar on it. They still sing. Um, I got to say, slow down, people. Um, <laughs> okay, you got it. Uh, 65 and 50 is 115. Less 25% would be less 25. Less 4. So less 29. Let's call it less 30. So it's $85 for the pair. Please confirm. If that works, then we'll uh, put those aside for you with your... Okay. Uh, John, if you'll note that they were 50 and 65 as numbers for Kathy. 50 and 65. For $85 for Kathy. All right, Kathy, you're in there. Um, slide these guys over a little more. Now the land demarcation is going to end up on the other side. All right, I had a request. I'm going to go in order here a little bit. Um, keeping people... Well, Lou Schultz wants a DT to go with his other one. I hope I have a DT for you still, Lou. Oh, <laughs> here's a honker DT. Look at that thing. DT. And it'd be $75. It's a honker for sure. Let me know if that works for you, Lou. I'm going to set it aside. While I show Deborah the three smaller ones. Here are three really good smaller ones. The smallest ones I have that sing incredibly well together. Um, if those are going to work for you, please let me know. Lou, let me know if you want that one for 75. The DT, it might be the last DT I have. Um... Deborah, these are three nicely matched small ones. Uh, 20, 30, and 20. Okay, so that's 20, and 20 is 40, and 30 is 70, minus, uh, it's minus 15, plus, or minus a dollar, like, <laughs> 65, We'll make them 64, because that's closer to the 25% discount. Deborah took them. Um, it's number, John, it'll be number 20, number 30, and number 20 uh, for $64. All right, you're in there, Deborah. And Lou Schultz says he wants the 75. 75 yep. And he got the Azurine earlier, right? And the singing course for 30. Yep, just making sure I put it in the right spot. Yep. You're good, Lou. I mean, good to go. You're good, too, I'm sure. Three smaller ones. Ted, let me see what I got. We're getting slim on these guys. There's one small one left. Um, this is kind of small. It's got the side cart. It doesn't, well, it doesn't sing with the sidecar part, but. Well, it doesn't sing on the sidecar part of it. And it doesn't really sing on the sidecar either. Like, it, yeah. I don't know. Let's see, I got to. Yep, the sidecar kind of dulls the singing. Um. Okay, and you're going to need the uh, key if you're going to be successful yeah. here. If you're successful. No, I, I don't think it's there. Okay. So All right. All right. Three small ones, Ted. Ted, if you want some more, if anybody wants singing chords, we can play with them. They're uh, getting slimmer, which is what happens when I sell things. Huh? It's cooled off nicely out there. Oh, nice. Maybe we should, maybe we should roll up the door more since nobody can get in anyway now. 
Wow. So this is Tucson. I can come up with medium that'll sing nicely. Two more. Barbara. Okay, that's um. Oh, right, this one. Okay, so. The one you bought is this one. I've got this one that's a little bigger. This one that's a little smaller. All right, let me see. Barbara Kearney, the second box down on the left would do. This one. For Kearney? I think he means for Barbara. Oh, okay. And Barbara's saying bigger, please. Bigger, all right, that's bigger. The one in the middle is still the one that you've already gotten. And this one you already got. This one. And actually, for singing, there's. I mean, you're the expert on this, but I would guess a smaller, slender one uh, against that fatter one, the smaller, slender one would sing better. So, Barbara says yes, and the one for 50. Okay. Yes, and the one for. So, these two? And that's it, or this one as well? 65, I think she was saying these two. And the 50 will be 3750 because I'm doing the discount. She hasn't responded yet, but she says yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, the 50, uh, Barbara, if you want the third one, let me know for sure. The 65. No one's 65. You got it. Um, the only one she added was 50 because she already had the 30. So that's going to be number 50 for 3750. All right. Anybody got more questions? Anybody want more singing quartz while we're here? I'm going to walk around and grab a drink. Grab a sip of my drink of I. Uh. Mm. But she also wanted another pair, smaller, medium size piece. So she wanted two more that are nicely paired, I think. All right, let's see what we can do to Barbara. Or Here's small. That's the smallest, slender, good one I have. And then I'll show you a line of sort of mediums. Of course, that's not really going to show up that well. I'm going to show up better here. Oh, wow, look, there's the roses. Let's see, that's small. Is that visible? Yeah, that's pretty visible. Uh, mm, Jonathan, uh, maybe some new tourmaline, not that I could put my hands on immediately. Here's a really nice slender one. So this pair of mediums would be 75 for the pair. They are nicely matched. Barbara's saying yes. You got them, Barbara. There are two number fifty, two more number 50s for, for, for 75 oh, total. total. Yep. All right, Barbara, thank you much. Anybody want to check out the Chalcedony Roses? You got it, Barbara. You're good to go. Yeah, you know, John just called. I just looked at my phone, too. It is 8 o'clock. We're supposed to go to dinner. I think I'm going to call it a night, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, if there's something else, you can always send me a message or an email. Email's better, quicker response, because too many messages. I get lost in Facebook. Um, 
My email again is Pustuff, P-U-S-T-U-F-F, at gmail.com. Uh, that's absolutely the best way to always get me. You don't get lost in a spam folder. And I make sure that I address emails all the time because I mark them unread until I deal with them. Uh, we're hungry. We're going to go eat. Thanks so much for tuning in and uh, joining me here in Tucson. Send me messages, whatever you want. Like I said, email's best. Thank you, Kearney. Thanks, everybody. It was a blast. Um, we'll see you again next time, wherever that happens to be, hopefully in person sometime soon. Um, you know what I like to say? I like to say I'll see you on the flip side. Uh, yep. Awesome, Shelly. Glad you got to come. Cat Stevens. Um, it's a wild world, man, or woman. Uh, <laughs> and we're out of here. Thanks. Have a great night. Ciao, ciao.